Hello aviators, my name is Chris Palmer. I am a flight instructor in Alaska, and on the last video I showed you guys John, who is an IFR student of mine, flying in instrument conditions for the first time, so actually flying in the clouds. On this video, we're continuing that flight and showing you another approach with John. So this should be pretty fun. Last time we did a localizer back course approach. This time we're gonna be doing a GPS LPV approach. So jump aboard and let's go check it out. All right, so we got 4,000 at Kutna, okay. which we'll just fly the whole approach. We'll go up to 4,000. And so we're just gonna kind of go out Radio. here. Cutlass 6407 to Victor's inbound on the localizer back course for two oh. two to cross to this. What did he cross? Number 6407 Victor, home radio. Roger that. How far out did you say you were? Okay, I guess that's a ways out there still, and uh, at a Cessna depart out to the north to DFR a few minutes ago. No other known traffic. 07 Victor. Zero 07 Victor, Skyhawk 2 3 and a Foreman Homer. Uh, we're coming back out to do a visual uh, practice approach on runway 22. We've got you on ADSB, we'll look out for you guys. Thanks for your help, 07 Victor. So why don't you hold a heading of with Juliet to the lake. Zero three zero for now. And four thousand whiskey Romeo, copy one zero to the west inbound. Thanks. Kind of nice to do these visual a couple times. And uh, to the one on twenty two two home radio, go ahead flight plan. Because then you can get an idea of how sensitive those needles are and the, like the amount you should be uh, you know adjusting your heading. Right. It, uh, it amazed me how how sensitive it was because a lot of the times you know you hate to chase the needle yeah but then if you get in that situation it is just I mean it's crazy sensitive now that we're at altitude let's pull it back to about 24 okay 24 that'll help our nose drop down because we're a little high yep okay get that 4,000 back. So on this one, when we come in, I'm going to help you just a little bit, so you can see the the kind of corrections I make when I'm yeah, doing an approach. Yeah. Six Hula Victor taking off two two. I feel like I do it a little bit different. Like it's like I do like to get a stableness, like let it sit there. But if I do a correction, it's almost like this. Sending out a four thousand five hundred. Okay, that's it. Localizer on my Just one little bump at a time. Homer. Is that them way out there? Probably. You see something? Yeah, it looks kind of tiny, but it's just Romeo moving so fast. Okay. Right yeah, now. let's do zero three zero again. Zero seven to uh, Victor, Homer traffic uh, two three in a form where uh, we see you guys. We're gonna fall in behind you on the approach. Thank you six four zero seven Victor. I just like giving them warm fuzzies that like we see them. They don't have to worry about us. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. So this. The uh, carrot top here uh -huh. is really the... It's ground track. Okay. It's correcting for wind. It's got the wind correction. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Traffic, six, four, zero, you can see the wind here. Runway, One knot tailwind, two, six knot crosswind. Okay, sure. Three, 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 Romeo is right down, wind landing cut left. All right, two, four, two, three, and a forearm. Turn right to a heading of zero, six, zero, descend, maintain, three, thousand. So whenever I say that, you can set your bugs. Okay, you like, okay, yep. Kind of pretending with you now. I should have told you I'm pretending. Set your bugs, and yep. then you, and then you can repeat the radio call. Even if, you know, if you're busy, it's just nice to have bugs there that you just set. Okay, right. jump zero seven, copy call. So then you have the reminder, right? Right. Over traffic, six Zulu victors, tip of the spit, climbing through 1900 southbound. Two, four, two, three, and a four, turn right, heading one, five, zero. I maintain 3,000. Turn right, heading... Oh, I forgot what you told me. 150. 150. That's, you see, that's where you could do this first. Oh yeah, right, do that right away. Yep. 150. 150, descend, maintain 3,000. And maintain 3,000. And now I'm going to activate this approach. I'm going to go direct Kutna. 
four two three to four and fly direct cut the fly direct cut the two four two three U four. So now we have it in already, it's direct. So you can just fly that. Hunter five kilo delta is entering a right downwind for southwest on the lake, Homer. So out here this says terminal, term, which is okay. not as sensitive. Once we get closer, it's gonna say LPV, that's where it gets really sensitive. Okay. Like this changes to where the sensitivity is a sure. lot lower. Okay. Home radio, Beaver 397 is taxi to the lake with kilo. Got landing traffic, taxi traffic, landing southwest takeoff. One. And you're going to see everything swap. Okay, yeah. Hey, do your nice standard rate, a little more bank. There you go. We can descend to 2700 at Jolmu. Okay. So go ahead and set 2700. How do I do that? You touch it? Yep, touch it. Straight up. This doesn't feel like a smartphone. It's amazing, huh? Yeah. Okay, right now I can go down to 27. Yes, because we're inside Kutna to Jolnu. Okay, yep. 2700, 25 before Hicksack. Okay. We should pick up the um, localizer before then. Okay. There we go. See ya. Now you can start working that purple carrot. It'll be a lot easier now because it'll be on the correct side. Okay, sure. Howdy, howdy. Good. So that's a reminder that 2700 is coming. Okay. And yep. 300 feet before. Boy, they really try and make it dummy proof. Oh man. Somehow we all still screw it up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, but, but then uh, I'm thinking back to my last one and how I blew it like four uh, times. Yeah. Uh, it's a new system, new airplane. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Okay, there's your 2700. Yep. So let's make sure we don't go below that. Okay. Really all you'd have to do is add a little power if you were still... Right. That'll kind of bring your nose up. Good job. And you can cheat on the runway just to get an idea of how sensitive it is out here. Homer traffic, 6407 Victor, uh, 2 mile final, 2-2, two two, full stop, Homer. Good, nice. Alright, how far are we from Jolmu? Put down there. Oh yeah, 0.4. Okay. And after Jomo, I can go down to 2500. Correct. Okay. See that? Yep. Okay. See, I just now switched to LPV. LPV sensitivity, and now we have the glide slope. Okay. Sure. So you can pick up the glide slope out here if you want. Um, oh yeah, sure. It's right here, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So keep that course correction coming in. Let's drag it over. Okay. That's good enough, just a purple carrot width. Okay. And then once we intercept that glide slope, bring the power back to about... I mean, you could set everything. Right, I could... We, bring it once back we to 18. Down. Okay, yeah. yeah. So bring it back to 18 now. Okay. Carpeat. Carpeat. And... yep. And then under 100, add that first notch of flaps. Okay. Oh, radio traffic, Beaver 92 Alpha Kilo is behind 397, and we'll be and get her nice and trimmed. We do have Kilo in traffic. 392 Alpha Kilo, home radio, Roger, thanks. That should settle in real nice. Okay. Probably want about 400 feet per minute on your VSI or 350. Okay, 350. Yep, just get her nice and trimmed for that. Job on the course correction. See that glide slope? Like we set that power setting and everything. Did that transition when we intercepted? It just fell right down on the glide slope. Yeah, it's almost like a no no factor now. Right. And what you can do now that you're you kind of like found it is you can add power and reduce power. You know, you'd add power if you're too low. You'd reduce power if you're too high. Sure. Because you'll deal with different winds along the approach path. Right. Do you see how it's just barely creeping above now? Yep. We have a little extra speed, so it's probably not a big deal. Okay, yep. Good job on your path, by the way. That looks awesome. Now, don't be bashful about putting your purple carrot right in the middle. Okay. When you're right on the money, keep it right on the tip there. 
So we're just barely to the left of our course. You see that CDI creeping over. We're just barely below glide slope. You can just add a touch of power or pitch the nose up, either one or a little bit of both. Are you enjoying this video and want to learn more? We have an entire library of structured videos on angleofattack.com. We call this online ground school and it's how you'll ace the written test required by the FAA. It's go at your own pace and all accessible right now on any device. Go check it out yourself or recommend it to your friends. Now back to the video. Homer traffic 2423 to form stone step straight in full stop runway 22 Homer. And here, yep, you're doing great on your corrections, like the smallest, smallest of corrections. Yeah. Probably took me about 15 hours of instrument to try and not fight the plane. Yeah. <laughs> and I can tell it's like all coming back to you now. Yeah. Like the first one was a little, but this feels Homer much, radio, much better. 6407 Victor, we're ready to copy our IFR to Kenai. Well, you've probably never done reverse sensing either on an approach, right? Oh, and I had never flown actual. You just have to stand by. Okay, so Super now it's right in the middle, so put the radio, purple carrot right on the top. Okay, yeah. Um, that means I'm low, right? Correct. So I'd pull the power out. So we need to just like to descend more. Home radio, that's my only no okay. for Keep in mind it's really sensitive, so don't chase it. Okay. Keep your scan traffic going. Inbound at two two. How far out are you now? We are a four mile final, runway two two. Roger, got you in sight. I'll hold short. Okay, yep, I see it coming in, so just kind of let it creep in slowly. We're going pretty slow. You guys might have time to get to the elephant here. Okay, we'll do a quick back taxi thing. Yep, you bet. Oh yeah, baby, take us home. <laughs> Turned on the approach lights. Okay, so now even that purple carrot to the left like you are right now, you want to get it to the other side, just barely. That's all the correction, exactly. That's okay. all the correction I would do. Okay. And then momentarily here, you're going to have to put it back on the tip. Yeah, you're doing really good. And look at where we are. Look how sensitive and perfect it is. Yeah. Freaking love IFR. It's so cool. It, it okay. really is. It's incredible. I'll get that course back on the tip because you're about yeah. to lose it. If it gets outside that triangle anywhere on the final approach course like this, it gets a little wonky. Okay. Homer traffic, 2 3 no form, 2 mile final runway, 2 2, landing long. 500. Right, 6407 Victor, Homer Radio, ATC clear, November 6407 Victor to the Kenai Airport from the Homer Airport as filed, maintain 6. Okay, a little slightly high, you can just a little nudge of power, pull it back. Frequency, then Good correction, no more than that, just keep that angle there. Okay. November 6407 Victor is cleared to the Kenai Here comes your minimums. Airport via the Kenai VOR and uh, as filed. Come and maintain 6,000. There you go, there's your runway. All right. Five, one, so keep six, your power seven. in. We're going to okay. land a little and long. This frequency okay. and one, so two, add, five, sorry, add nine. a little bit of power because we're going to fly flat to further down the runway. Okay. Victor, home radio, read that correct. More, 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 more. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Now obviously, there's a, a misc approach component to it that approach, right? If you don't see the runway. Yep. This little button down here. Okay, yeah. We'll actually put it past the suspend mode. So then you oh. can go missed approach. It's toga, take off, go around. Okay. Homer traffic, 2-3 uniform, just coming over the numbers, 2-2, two, two, landing long, 2-2. Two, two, uh, we'll be exiting at Bravo North. Like that. So now if I press this. Oh, just instantly. Yep. And it it's talks right to the by GPS. where you're doing everything down here. Precisely, yep. Okay. All right, you can start powering back and walking her down. You could do another notch of flaps if you want. Okay. But you don't have to. Little slightly high, let her come back down. Ooh, yes, yes, baby. A so this thing gets a little draggy, like has those big tires. Okay. And it's hard to like see the sight picture. Every Cessna is different, so you'll get used to that. Okay. And I was I was honestly nervous about the big tires. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was good. Yeah, that was a blast. Did okay. some damage. Where do I turn to go? It's back right up? here. Okay.
Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that real life example of flying with a student, uh, an IFR student flight training. So really appreciate you guys coming along. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Of course, subscribe to stick around and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for being here. Fly safe and until next time, throttle on.